Hey everyone, welcome back to some Crawl with Ultraviolet 4. We're playing a Vampire Chaos Knight. Plan in this one is to do vaults down to level 4, and then we're going to jump into depths. So let's get going, shall we? Got to remember that I've got all grabs. And just to remind myself what I'm training here. Looks like we're still going towards Mindelay on our Plutonium Sword, and we're doing a bit of dodging, fighting. So basically just melee, melee things. That was all grabs. Yeah, but I miscast. Get over here. So zombie blink them. Okay. From memory, um, when we did vaults two, it was really difficult for whatever reason. So here's to hoping for an easier vaults three. Someone makes a sudden noise. You hear a splashing noise. Okay. I like how also we're called uh, right at the top, right up there. We are Ultraviolet Four, the Vampiric Blade. That is a pretty cool nickname. I'm avoiding hitting this guy while he's reflecting damage. There we go. And let's let's be full and not get locked out. Okay, good. Uh, let's also not have all those joined together. Can um, Takima is this dude? The item cannot be evoked, which is fine because I was trying to move. It's Takima's. Takima's won't affect the dancing weapon that I had because they're immune to magic. Main full. Cool. We can deal with elves. We've dealt with a lot of those. But let's not get shot by the Yaktor captain for no especially good reason. Sweet. Cockroaches. <laughs> Did he say anything with those? Shape shifting. Oh, that's from the sword. Oh, sick. I didn't know this. It's not from Zom. It's the sword here. Shape-shifting energy floods from the deep elf night and in lot and enlargens the floor blocks. That's sick. Okay, so apparently the cockroach bros are from my sword. Who knew? I thought Zom was just being being a bro and giving me cockroaches. Let's get these. The boggets are by far uh, more of a threat than the elves. So let's get those dudes. Um, I put on my what's my call it ring? Um, RC ring to fight the ice dragon, and then I'll switch back to the RF one. The RF one's better to wear generally. It's got more deaths, and then the int, and also we don't need the MR because we already have max. That guy, I think, got shafted. Yeah, he did. Wrecked. Wrecked by traps. Maybe he'll go and post a, a long thread on Reddit complaining about it. So there's a, a plus nine play armor, which we might think about if we become a melee guy. Maybe. Well, let's hope this is. No. Nah. Curse plus one ring now, that's no good. Spiders, we already know Ogrebs is good against those dudes. And we already know that, you see that? Because I was just tabbing, right? That There's two turns that I tabbed, I'm already corrode minus eight. So, so balanced. Is that Demise? No, it's not. Uh, Demise popped in here a little bit earlier, when I was about to begin, but then I made him get out. No, I didn't really. But I think he's he's recording a different game at the moment. Okay. We have two enchant armor scrolls, but nothing that's particularly I mean we could do the troll leather armor. Oh wow that hurt. 
Uh, so we just turn the Essen into a Fire Dragon. I don't like this situation much because the the Gargoyle Warrior dude can do a lot of damage. So if we take if we take a beating from this dragon, then that guy could nail us. Okay, we have three blinkings if it goes really ugly. Let's see. Alright. Let's uh maybe let's just make a box of beasts. Okay, we'll just make a little small dude and we'll fire a acid. Do we get them? Um the wall gargoyle seems unharmed. Are they corrosion resistant? No, not that I'm aware of. Let's try again. I think Okay, we got him that time. So let's get the war go. Okay, so it turned out to be much easier than I was worried about. But still, better to be overly cautious. Uh, what did Zom do? He confused him, I think. Okay. Oh, look at this stealth. These value stabs. <laughs> uh, so we got another war go. Um, the reason I didn't back into the hallway just here is because if I stepped back, the Yaktor captain will probably stand there and continue to just beat me. You summon some harpies. Okay, fair enough. And some. Always got my back. Let's go again to the um, the other ring. I'm gonna switch these rings around so I can swap a bit better. So we're gonna make uh, this one be on Z rather than shift set, and I'll make this one be on L, maybe? Okay, let's get back to Z. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then let's change our minds again. <laughs> the weather's been a little too boring around here. Okay. Where did that ice dragon go? Am I just crazy? No, there was one. Ow. If I... So that's one, one level of fire. If I... Let's just drain this corpse of blood. I have 62 potions of blood, lol. We'll go to full. Um, so if I wear this dragon scales, I go from 25-29 to 31-22, so no. Probably don't want to do that. So I'm getting 6 extra AC. I'm losing 7 EV. And I'm going to no fire protection. Uh, and we lose our regen. I think I'll just stick with this for the moment. Do you have the right ring on it? Yeah. Uh, orange crystal statue. I don't think I have clarity, I do, so it can't confuse me. Let's XV it. I think confusion is the main one that you worry about. Brain feed seals your int. If you're a 3 int minotaur, then you worry about that. Otherwise, it's just, yeah, mass confusion is the main one, and then shadow creatures. So we'll, we'll run at it. Okay, never mind. That's a massive shadow creatures. So these are all summons, but we can just fight them because it's going to take less effort than running away from them. Okay, let's try again. Let's go for uh, small shadow creatures. Oh, wow, okay, thanks on. Oh, uh, we're slowed, but that's probably okay. Yeah, because as soon as we kill him, then everything will disappear. I'm gonna ID the scroll. Brand weapon. I don't think. We haven't seen like an unbranded triple sword. No. So that's okay. So I'm going to it's inside. How about this? <laughs> so uh, be full for the extra region again. Here's Zom's maniacal laughter. Okay. That always worries me a little. Steps. 
This is kind of annoying because uh, they're standing on opposite corners. So if I go to shoot, if I go to hit one, the other one's going to shoot me no matter what I do. Okay, so that's floats three. Floor wasn't so bad. Look at these stabs. Oh. Devalue self though. Okay. Nutrient sword is doing a lot of work. And we have some natural kill holes prepared here. I'm gonna yell to bring everything to them because um, I'd rather fight them one at a time like this. Uh, that's a mitered Etten. Um, that's always bad. Might on a monster gives it um, one and a half times its usual damage. The reason I'm not going to walk up the stairs is because he'll get several goes to hit me with his mitered attacks. So I'm just going to try to walk him around until the might runs out. That's the plan anyway. Or, I was going to say, I think we got away from him, but... Whoops! I let him hit me. By walking into the Phantasm. Okay, so I think we just reposted the Phantasmal Warrior. We did. Oh, let's get some more strength. And then, Eden's no longer mitered, so... We can fight him there. And i got to remember... Oh, grips. Yeah, see we're, we're fairly effectively uh, he's mitered. Mitered Stone Giant, not quite as bad as an Eden, but still uh, not something you want to mess with. And the point I was trying to make is that we're doing pretty well at just beating things with a sword. So how much was that plus, plus 9 plate armor? We could buy it. It would give us another 5 int. Hmm. We don't quite have enough strength for it, but the way we could do it is if we have another pair of boots, don't we? Yeah, this one, the red one. So we'd lose 2 AC, we'd lose 2 Slay. The 2 MR I don't think matters because I think we have full anyway, but we get 9 strength. So that's a consideration. I could just. I don't know. What are our spells? These ones aren't. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. Let's give this a go. We've got so much gold. Let's just see what this is like. All right. So we're getting a plus nine plate armor. We're twenty five twenty nine. This will take us to. Actually, why don't we get the other boots first too? Because without strength, that will be hard to know. They are on D twelve. Yep. Let's go. And then that will allow us to be RF and RC. Because we'll get another RC from the uh, armor. Okay, so we're 2529. Uh, yes, we wear these. And then we put on the plate armor. And we're 3920. So that's a lot more AC. And we're losing quite a bit of EV too, but we're getting almost 40. AC, what if we put on the other boots? 3920. Uh, we got a move curse. 3920. 4114. Yeah, see, not being strong enough really, really hampers your ability to dodge. So this would be, this would be it. And then our spells we can't use. Although, we actually can. Look at that. Because we now have 31 int which is a lot of int. And we actually, these are quite castable still. So if we really wanted to, we could keep casting. All right, let's give this a go for a while. Let's be more of a just melee dude with almost 40 AC. Faults level four. Take this token, potion of curing. Thanks, Son. Son's power touches on you a moment. It's a bit. Oh, I know. When Zom does things like that, Zom smirks. I don't know what they are. It just makes me afraid. 
I see we got brilliance. Oh dear. Wait, where? Well, we have our elect, right? Yeah, we do, on our hat. I remember, our crown. A little less clever. All right, let's do this. Uh, so again, you see how much damage that guy does? The mitered stone giant, almost killing us there. Your butterfly dies. Okay, can I go up? Wow, okay. So the, the mitered snapping alligator turtle. Uh, as we went up the stairs, it's really hurting as well. So yeah, you should learn that lesson. Uh, just don't fight mitered, mitered big dudes like Titans, Stone Giants, Edens, because they will mess you up. They'll mess you up really bad. These orcs don't matter, the troll doesn't matter, but the really big dudes definitely matter. What's my... So we've got 17% to Kima's Dance. That's pretty good. I don't know what... Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know what happens if you Takima's it and you can't see anywhere for the weapon to go. I guess it's down here. But anyway, as long as he doesn't have it. What? A door bursts open. Hey, we got... We got cockroaches again. Yeah, Zom's laughing again. And trying to kill us by summoning some demons. Uh, some white, very ugly things. Uh, so we have RC now with that armor. I just, I'm not gonna step. Oh, we got uh, Cleave, although we're only fighting one at a time. Help me out, Cockroach Bro. These, I want to stand, yeah, good, next to the captain. Uh, he's going to lock me in, isn't he? Nope. So I can't Takemus him when he has a crossbow. Apparently I can't Takemus him anyway. There we go. These, these dudes all have fringe weapons, apparently. Let's go for a ride. Whoa. Okay, it turned out it turned out alright. Ow. See, these dudes just do when they hit you every time, they just do so much damage. I'm glad we didn't stop at the one before that. This one. <laughs> Stone giant. Um, let's not just run down the hallway at it and get rocks thrown at us. Oh, we're going again. Let's see if you're strong enough to survive yet. That usually means he summons demons. I feel like this is bugged because he's been saying that when he takimas my, my enemy's weapons. Whereas usually when he says, let's see if you're strong enough to survive yet, he's going to do something bad to you. I feel like animating my... Oh, we're sharp again, we're cleaving. My enemy's weapons is probably good. But what do I know? Gave me a glowing stuff. I think I'm quite happy just hitting things with my swords on. Seems to be working out. Do we just get... Oh, your body is twisted very painfully. For a second I thought we got tormented. Let's cough. I think maybe we've done... Let's not again. Just walk at him and get a whole bunch of arrows to the face. Uh, so we're having to choose between getting arrows or rocks to the face, unless I do that. Good, I want to get the captain. And he's summoning some... 23, we've got one more level I think. Yep, 24 to get Mindele. 
And also what I should do is I should be training some armor now that we're wearing heavy armor. Hmm, how about... Yeah, let's just get only long blades for that last point and then I'll fiddle around with them. Because I should be training some armor now that I'm wearing plate. That will be a lot more value than when I was wearing um, troll the armor. Okay, it's a lot of dudes. We're well, locked in here. Uh, let's be. Oh, he's got Holy Wrath. Let's just kill him. Yeah, good. And then I'm moving next to the Yaktors so they stop shooting me. Been a lot of Holy Wrath incidents this game, I feel. Vampire gets kind of the. the raw. To call it a stick, the raw deal. Cool. You feel clumsy, you feel clever, you feel weak, you feel agile. So I think we lost dex, we gained dex, we gained int, and we lost strength. That's okay. We have quite a lot of strength with the boots with plus eight. So yeah, um, a lot of undead, so mummies, ghouls, what else? Maybe they're the only two. Um, if you go all the way to being bloodless, uh, you can't be tormented. So that's kind of like one of the main bonuses of being undead. No torment. But uh, vampires, demon spawn too, can be tormented. So they don't get that benefit, but then they're also still uh, vulnerable to holy wrath. So you get a bit... Get a bit of the the bad side on both ends of that deal, but you also get to berserk. So I don't know. Maybe it balances out. Going to depths. I just want to check my shopping list. So I've got. I could have seven magic mapping scrolls. So if we're gonna say um, that we're gonna read five of them in Zot, we can have two more, which means we can read this floor. Let's do it. Magic map. Is there anything cool? There's a shop, maybe? That looks like it might be a portal to hell or something. Because it's the funny room with all the statues. Doubt that's a shop. And here's a lot of slimes. Uh, I think they can just eat the door. Maybe not. There's an artifact amulet in there. I've got just a regen, so I guess I want that. Uh, I need to have Arc Road on though. Um, so if we are Arc Road, and it would have to be this one, I guess. Yeah, because we need to keep. No, it's the RC that we need to keep for these uh, Azure. Azure. Azure? Azure. Whatever the cold jellies are called. Um, because they do a lot of cold damage. I'm going to dig a little thing like this. And I think we can... And you can't... You can't port doors open. But you can... Uh, once upon a time you could disintegrate them. But I can't do that here. So we're going to bust that open. And then get into this hallway. And we're immediately corroded. That's alright. And so we'll just fight them one at a time in this hallway. So we don't pretend we're fighting the royal jelly and fight a whole bunch of slimes at once. Come on guys. They're so dumb. They're trying to run straight at me. Just go around guys. It's not that hard. Come on. Yes, there you go. One of them made it. The lights dim around you momentarily. Silly jellies. No one made it up. Come on, jellies. Come on. Yep, there you go. 
Uh, we're being acided. Some grants you temporary aid. Sweet. All right, let's run in now. We got most of the the really scary ones. Okay, let's ID this. Yeah. Region MP does nothing for us. Our poison we already have somehow, I think. Do we? I think we've got, yeah, we do. We have a, uh, whatever they're called, a mutation. And then C and Viz, nothing. So, so amulet is disappointing. And we're going to drop the troll of the armor. And I guess these boots, do I have, you have full MR anyway. So, whatever. Um, I'm just walking around while these jellies hit us. Let's just check out what this is, because who knows. A plus 11 hand crossbow of speed. RC, MR, dex minus 4. That seems pretty good. What's our... A crossbow aptitude's pretty bad, but you only have to get it to... Um, a pretty small level, I think. Skill level 10. So you can quite easily train this crossbow to 10. Oh, but we can't switch to it. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. You can't you can't do two two weapons with the plutonium sword because you'll contaminate yourself every time you take it off. So never mind. Let's put our um, RF back on so we're not just getting fireball to death. And this someone's opening doors and confusing them and making clouds. It's just really enjoying this fight against the trolls. But really, Zom is the major troll, am I right? That's so bad. I should probably report this video. Okay. I'm not bothering to switch rings now because I already have an RC. So, um, for um, fire and cold resistance, it's the first point that matters the most. So you get 50% off the first one, and then the next one is uh, gives you 66%. That is plus three reflection. I think I'd rather just have the regen for plus three. Mm, I don't know, that's not, that's not obvious. Reflection is not as valuable when you don't have a shield and also blocking things And this is kind of sad, but blocking things has anti-synergy with repost because the game calculates uh, Your blocks first and repost triggers when you dodge So if you're better at blocking You block first and then the game never actually uh, Same issue. I can't use this. The game then doesn't let you dodge And also, I don't need lignification. Well, maybe. Maybe we'll get in a situation where we really need to not be tormented. That's a little secret tech. Um, whoa, yeah, see, that's definitely like a pan entrance. I don't know. I feel like I'm in a situation again where I started explaining or not explaining, but saying three things at once and then got distracted. So anyway, uh, reflection not as valuable without shield and the extra sh shield that the amulet would give me doesn't synergize with my wanting to repost. There we go. Let's be full again. Uh, Enchantress. And she has a flail of distortion. Hmm. Basically, if I fight her with a flail of distortion, we are 100% being abyssed. Not that it would matter too much at this stage because we're strong enough to do abyss. Oh, we have requirement too. We have a million scrolls of teleportation, we have 16. But I'd still rather not. But what would I do otherwise? Because there's no way. She has way too much MR. Yeah, we can't. Can't hex her. And if I read, she has a lot of hexes herself. She has um, 
mass confuse and the ability to stop us from teleporting. So if I read a vulnerability in the aim of hexing her, she'll hex me too. Um, I could try to read a summoning, but I feel like she'll eat through those pretty quickly too. Otherwise I just teleport and pretend that Enchantress doesn't exist. I think that might be the play actually. We don't need to fight her. She always has a, you can see, fairy dragon scales. Um, that's probably the, um, the acid dragon scales. They used to be modeled and they're now those, so. Uh, where do we just go from up there? So she always has an artifact armor, which can be very good or very bad, but it's fairly light, so I don't know, we don't, we don't need to kill her. We're almost at Mindalay, we're just going to go down a floor. And if we're saying we have seven magic mappings, then we have one more. And a funny looking vault over here. That's usually a Spriggan type vault that has Enchantress, but we know Enchantress is up on the floor above. Uh, let's acquire. So we got we have a bunch of cool stuff already. I could go for some jewelry. Maybe I just go armor again, but like I don't know what we'd be replacing. We have a plus nine plate armor. We have a sick artifact well hat that's really a crown. Uh, these boots are insane. We need the cold resistance and these gloves are insane. I feel like armor is not going to beat this. Plus four protection is not that special. Our amulet is not that special. Alright, let's go. Let's go jewelry. Otherwise, yeah, there's no reason to get gold. There are no... Uh, what used to be wands and evocables is now merged into evocables. But there are no... All the good ones are gone anyway. So I guess we go jewelry. And we got a, an uncursed ring of fire. Okay, great. So, um, acquiring jewelry is probably the most um, swingy, as in sometimes you get some really good stuff, and then other times like that, it would just be a like a ring of fire, which. Why would you ever just want to ring fire? And there are a lot of dudes being summoned. And there's a lich who's being um, copied. So let's... Uh, do you just... Okay, a lot of people are hasted at the moment. Um, the Spriggan is summoned by the Orange Brain, so he won't follow me up. Hey, we got... We reposted something to get to 24 long blades. Alright, let's go fighting again. Um, I'm going to focus armor and I'm going to train dodging. Okay, let's quap back to full. And then, uh, we could try to Takemus him, we got him. Such a good player. That 30% that chance. So skilled. We, uh oh. Okay, well. It wasn't so bad. Well, it wasn't bad at all, actually. If you consider that whatever this fault is down here, that could be crazy. Uh, we didn't do too badly with that random teleport. Level 22. Let's see, let's just, yeah, kill that plant. We'll get into there. We feel weakened. All right, he just stole some of our, as in he uh, lowered our stats. But that's fine. We'll get that back with experience. Okay, I think this is a shop. Yep. Um, do we have any agility? I feel like we don't. No, let's grab the agility. The recharging. I don't know, we don't really have anything worth recharging. We'll have four anyway. I'll grab the emulation, that could be fun. We may as well just 
have more teleports. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt to have extra teleports. I'd rather have more than less. Uh, that book was the Book of Battle. Sweet. Okay. Well, that's what I've been waiting for. So the question is, can I book a battle with my heavy armor? The answer is maybe. So I'm gonna go a uh, spectral weapon. I'm gonna put it on B instead of Ogrebs. I'm also gonna learn um, Summer Slaying, and then I'm gonna focus some charms. So spectral weapon is the well, they're both good, but Spectral Weapon is the one that I'd most want. Um, so it's Hexes and Charms. Um, I've already got quite a bit of um, Hexes. Eight. So if I just train some Charms, uh, that should come online. And then Song of Slain is only a level 2 Charm spell, so that's really easy to cast. What Spectral Weapon does, if you've not seen it, is it makes like a Takima's sort of thing. It makes a dancing weapon of your weapon. It doesn't actually pull it out of your hand, so you can keep using your weapon. It's basically like you get to hit things and then the copy of your weapon also hits things. Except when, when it gets damaged, you take some of that injury. So it's not good against um, things with AoE. Like don't try to use a um, spectral weapon against an orb of fire. You'll learn that lesson pretty quickly. All oh, right, he's just like dudes in jail. This door's not even locked. He's just there. You go. It looks like for this thing in here, we have to dig our way in. Do you even want to? Looks like there are a bunch of shops, so I guess we can. We don't have to. Let's do the rest of this floor first, though. More shops. Cool. This is where maybe um, when I spent my money buying random teleports and stuff, we're going to get punished. Anyway, let's buy this heal wounds. Um, how many haste do we have? Seven. That's quite a bit. Uh, we'll get the agility. And we'll put haste on our shopping list. And for Zerk Rage, we have three. Let's get four. Whatever, we'll get the haste. Curing we don't need. We have 19. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, more stuff. No. No, that is as good as our plus, plus nine chain mail. Oh, uh, plate mail. Looks like we've done all the floor now, except for this vault. Um, what I can do is... Um, so dig this open and then step into here, which will force things to fight me one at a time. And then I can teleport out if it gets really ugly. It's like a natural kill hole. Right, come on. And then I can always... Oh no, I can't. Pick up the vault. Shut the door. Drop the vault. I like how there's a bolt on the door. It can't be opened. There's a bolt. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have. Whoops, let the dragon cops come. Oh, okay, didn't. I'll leave a skeleton. Alright, so let's hope there isn't a whole bunch of crazy enemies in here. And if there is, we're gonna run away like a scaredy cat. I'm gonna yell. And then draw them down here. Where I'll then run into that room and potentially find it doesn't look like there's anything there's a titan uh, we are a lurk but they still just hurt like crazy let's try an experiment hmm? I don't know what alright okay so I'm dropping miasma Someone's attention turns to you for a moment. You feel slightly ill. Okay. I think this might be... Again, I, <laughs> I can't. The miasma is trapping me. Again, I don't want to jinx it, but again, it doesn't matter so much now. This might be the first ever Zom game where he hasn't sent me to the Abyss at least once. 
Amulet of Faith. An Amulet of Faith with Zong makes him act more often. <laughs> so, I don't know. Up to you whether that's good or bad. Probably more entertaining though. I think in, in one of my Vampire Chaos Knight games, he abyss me three times um, around the last stage of the game. I kept escaping and then he kept um, just sending me back. It was really mean. Chance of three. So spectral weapon is at 50%. It's not so bad. Shouldn't take us too much more to get going. Uh, it's a, I've never seen a shop like this where everything is minus. He's the legendary smithy. Interesting. Uh, but we don't want any of that stuff. Also, this this is kind of creepy. We've got slaves in cages here. I don't know how I feel about this fort. Yeah, and look at this. Vipsing slaves and accessories, selling wands of enslavement and whips. Yeah, this fort's kind of kind of creepy. This one's Making this is humans and kobolds, a whole bunch of ends. Um, and so I'm fighting them one at a time rather than letting four ends all hit me at once. A whole bunch of meat rations that do nothing for us, and now a whole bunch of vampires. So I came in here uh, mostly because I was talking about all the shops in here, and they've all been um, these horrible ones. Like, that could be fun. Although, 400 gold each, that's uh, kind of outrageous. Draconian. Uh, what are these, the slave masters? It's a um, shiny fire dragon scales. Oh, it's plus one. Okay, not that exciting. Someone's attention turns to you, nothing appears to happen. We've got more slaves in this one. Very spooky. Uh, where's this shop? Oh, okay. So we have a plus or a plate armor with int minus five. No thank you. And a cloak of magic resist would ordinarily be a very good item. When you have a million MR, it doesn't do much. I think we are nearly done with this floor. Okay, there's our floor. Alright, there's our floor. Quaff to full. One last QQ. There's our episode. We'll keep going with depths in the next one. See you all later.